So uh, Wooden Boat and Small Boats Magazine, professional boat builder, put out a little uh, spring fitting out guide free. Uh, we've got a link. And we'll put the link in there that you can look if you're getting ready to get your boat ready for the season here in the Northern Hemisphere and you're looking at paint, varnish, etc. Got us excited to come out to the uh, boat works and see what kind of stuff we brought with us from Florida and what kind of stuff we need to get. It seems like we have uh, some painting projects ahead of us. Uh, we are ambassadors for Total Boat. So they give us some free stuff and we do, uh, we paint a lot of stuff and they use a lot of our pictures, etc. But we like it. Uh, we can see we use other products as well. To uh, So if you're out there and you don't have a, a marine supply place next to you, there's some folks out there. Uh, Jamestown Distributors is our favorite. A few others, Hamilton Marine, I'm not sure. Uh, you probably got one locally, throw it in your comments if you got one you'd like to order stuff from so you don't have to get in the car and drive over but um we've got some uh paint from past projects uh we're pretty happy with the uh, total fair the thick so and uh got a lot of colors of the wet edge and uh, rust-oleum and jamestown sells all of this stuff interlux pettit etc epoxies of different you know west their uh thick so line so we uh, had to dig it out from the dusty corner because we are going to be getting to a painting phase on our little pram uh, soon. Be doing some primer and paint, be some varnish involved. And uh, we've got some gleam, but I did, did kind of prefer the lust satin finish. So I'm not sure. Got to talk to them about if it's similar product or if I want to see if I can score some uh, free stuff. But uh, if you can't score free stuff, you can use our... Uh, ambassador code it'll be in the link and you can get 10 percent off if you want to if you like total boat or you want to try them but just give the jamestown folk te tech team a call and talk to them about what you're working on and they can recommend what uh, best product might be good for your application but uh, the fitting out you know some things we keep organized some we don't but one of the things we like to do in our little shop is uh Try to keep like items together. And if we can, we use found items to store things. And this found item was my uncle's old uh, Plano toolbox that we used to go fishing with back in the late 60s, early 70s. And I put uh, some hardware for rigging in here. So it's a little treasure trove of uh, some stainless and toughnol. And uh, if you've got the room, you got the resources, we put some uh, tools in here that, you know, specifically go to a lot of this hardware we find ourselves using a lot, like these little uh, machine screws and nylock nuts. And instead of having to go somewhere else, I'll just go ahead and buy a little wrench that fits it, um, like a deep socket. If you're putting in a deck plate and you got to get in under, inside a boat, up underneath and onto that nut while you're... It's nice to have one that's just purpose dedicated for that. A couple of screwdrivers, wrench, needle nose, a little, little handle for the different sizes we need. That way it's all right here. We can carry it out to a boat and um, get to work on it. So we've got a few. Uh, a lot of this is mostly for uh, sunfish rigging, but uh, there are bits and pieces that have come off of other boats we've been stored that uh, should have been on them. We put them back to original condition. Got some uh, Wilcox Crittenden Spinnaker cap, Spinnaker pole, pack, coal, Spinnaker pole caps, if you're looking for something like that. A little lifeline hook for the kind of button stuff. Nope, oh, there's a bow handle for some fish don't need that. So these little packets of screws come in handy. And uh, a few little blocks we might have had. I think we we're working on rigging a centerboard uphaul up line. And then this is Captain Jack's uh, stainless box, a few pieces that he collected over the years. Still has. And then uh, just to keep the tradition going, we've got a little fishing reel in here. Because you never know if you're going to need that when you're putting a 
the uh, little piece of gear on a boat. <coughs> but these uh, make good these uh, tackle box tool boxes make good storage containers, not just for tools, but for things like this organized. And so we can get out there and save time, find, be organized. What else do we have over here? We've got a few uh, socket wrenches. We've got a little kit that's dedicated for like some, you know, wiring on a trailer lights or something. Here's kind of our rivet guns. The uh, corded drill with some hole saws and some other drill bits, etc. Some of the longer bits we may need. Uh, metal bits, which we don't use that often. And then we mixed in with the screws, which are mainly outdoor projects. But a little tip about these exterior screws here. If you're trying to put a panel temporarily on a boat, those things, a lot of people use drywall screws. But these with the uh, the T-drive head on them, go in real easy. They bite well, and then you can take them out real easy too. So if you're going to, like we used them when we uh, put these. We were putting this boat together to hold the uh, panels together to get the uh, laps on the panel, screwed them down, and let the epoxy dry, and then we pulled it all out. And the screws came out real easy. So they they have they have several useful purposes in a boat shop. And there's our little grinding wheel to sharpen our tools, which we hardly ever do. We like them having all blunt and dull. So we just uh, bash the wood off the surface of things. And then I've got a whipping kit. I'll probably do something separate about what all's in there and the little hot knife that goes with it. So if you can kind of keep your tools in one spot, you might know at least where to go start looking for them. And then a few other things we'll have. We're getting ready to redo this corner, take out the wooden shelf and put in this uh, metal shelf. We keep our uh, our picker gear, we call it, when we go picking boats and look for things. So we've got a um, fancy uh, hitch if we need it. Got some tie-down straps. And then the box on the bottom down here is uh, items we might need when we're towing a trailer. And we're going to pick up a trailer that we're not exactly sure of the condition of. Some grease, paper towels. Uh, some tools to change out of bearing those do a little bit of minimal maintenance on the road or repair if needed so there's some things uh, help you get your boat ready get it out but we were happy how this turned out we had the space above this table saw that wasn't being utilized and so just left off the bottom shelf and the table saw still fits and we've got a lot of gear up there got to do found a those uh, fitting guide a lot of tips in there one of the tips i need to take advantage of it says to put your tape in a ziploc bag because i've got some expensive tape over there and if you get sawdust or something on the edge well that kind of defeats the purpose to having a, a fine line tape if you got little specks of sawdust all over it so need to go uh, get a few more ziplocs and get that taken care of and then we'll uh, get back to goofing off doing something else and trying to think if there's uh, anything else while we're standing back here pondering this corner. Oh, there's a few little, a uh, few more of our uh, trailer towing items that little, you know, take four, four size lug wrench with you or they've got the little collapsible ones if you don't have a whole lot of space in your car. And this little trailer jack is kind of nifty. It will just uh, works on a trailers with tires anywhere from eight to 12 inches. You just kind of wedge that up under your axle and back your trailer up a little bit and it'll lift that tire off the ground without having to dig a jack out of your trunk or put a big jack carry it around somewhere. It's lightweight, doesn't take up much space, which if we're in the small boats, that's kind of what we're all about is not taking up 
any more space we have to. And then we'll um, get done organizing and cleaning, but we have to do that because Doug and Richard always expect us to keep the shop clean and organized. We don't want to let them down. And then maybe we'll uh, get to use Skipper's uh, Mother's Day present that I got her early. Bought a little uh, cordless compact trim router that works off the 20 volt system that, um, you know, these corded tools are great, but, but with the trim router and especially the jigsaw, I always find myself working on a piece going down the long edge of something and then the cord will get hung up somewhere, which can cause some problems. It can cause you to make a little boo-boo on what you're uh, trimming or cutting, especially with the jigsaw. It seems like that cord always gets caught in the, uh, the cut line that behind you. So um, we're going to probably play with that on something, this uh, trim router, in the next uh, day or two. We like to put, uh, put a 1 8 inch round over bit in it and just take the edge off of pretty much anything we put in a boat that we think our shin or arm or something could come in contact with or forehead, whatever that happens to be, and just give it a couple things keep you from hurting yourself. And then it, it kind of gives it like the board, the boat's, you know, been used a little bit that it's got a, it's got a little wear on the edge. It's not, we don't go for the varnished uh, coffee table look. We go for the, you know, the boat's been loved and used uh, look. So I did get uh, Skipper one other present for Mother's Day. I bought her this uh, bracelet. Uh, but she she told me it was too big. I, I'm not sure why she thought it was too big, but a um, little brass uh, bracelet I bought for her. But she said maybe I could reuse it on this boat as like a, uh, a little band to put on the uh, keel to protect the boat when we run it up on the beach. So that was nice of her to uh, donate her uh, Mother's Day bracelet for the build of our nutshell pram. Excuse me. Well, we're going to go... Uh, Play with this shelf for a few more minutes and then probably close up for the day and hope y'all are doing good. That about does it.